Welcome to Kailal Kalshir and Pradesh of Breslov.org and I welcome everyone that's joining us here today in on our Zoom class and everyone else that's going to be listening to the share. So we say today like this, Vayikra El Maisha. Okay, beautiful, beautiful words of Rav Nassim. And Rav Nassim says like this, Ayadei HaTzadik Shedones HaKol L'Kav Shchus. Through a tzaddik that's able to judge everybody favorably. Everybody. Everybody favorably. Not the way it's done today, where all the people are always looking at what everyone's doing wrong. But rather, is a tzaddik is someone that finds good, that finds good within people. He finds the good. And he judges them favorably. And he finds good points in every single Jew. Even those Jews that are very low. Even those Jews that are not, that, 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 that are not, that are not, that are not you know, the most uh, cherished Jews on the outside. Right? And the tzaddik also helps us to find in ourselves, in ourselves good points and good points in other people. Amazing. Amazing. You know, we always like to, we always like to be, we're, we're generally hard on ourselves. We're generally very, very hard on ourselves. But if we're connected to the tzaddikim, and the tzaddikim are working on to find the kavs, to, be, to, be, to bring people, to be the kavs, to judge them in a favorable way, it rubs off on, uh, on us, and then we can live our lives in that way also, and with our friends and our family. And through that we can all turn back to Hashem. We learned this concept before as well. And I just remind you that, you know, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is always co- is connected to all goodness. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is connected to good. There are every, there's many different things that go on in the world. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu has shluchim. He has his messengers, his, his angels, and whatever he has that he has taken care of these things from that are not seeming seemingly good. But good HaKadosh Baruch Hu does on his own. Whatever that means. So that means when we find ourselves as being good, we find good points in ourselves. We find good points. In other words, we we don't say, you know, I, I well, you know, I, I could be doing better. I should be doing better. I, I could have done this better. I could have done that better. Okay, perhaps. But you did it. You did something good. You still did something good. So don't don't discount the goodness that you did and the goodness that you have. And by doing this, we connect ourselves to the Rabbi Nishalem. We connect ourselves to our Kaddish Baruch Hu, and we're, so to say, protected with the protection of the Rabbi Nishalem when we are connected to the good because our Kaddish Baruch Hu is Kulay Taif. So when we do that, we connect ourselves to the Taif, and therefore, and therefore, we're protected from the Rabbi Islam, from all the other mashchisim, all the other the, the, the stuff that's out there that wants to attack because we're connected to the good. Shekol zehu meleches hamishkan. All of this is the meleches hamishkan, the building and the work that went into the mishkan, and the truma of the mishkan, the, the, the donations that were given for the mishkan. Kizeh tzadik bayne mishkan. It's connected to the lesson we learned before. And from there, the, the tzaddik builds the mishkan. And the mishkan we know was built from, from all Jews. Every Jew gave his machsas a shekel. Every single Jew gave his machsas a shekel. And every single machsas a shekel was used to make the adonim, the sockets, the support system of the mishkan. Every single Jew. And that was the goodness, and that was the Niku, the Taiva that was placed into the Mishkan. That's that little Aleph in the Vayikra. As the Rebbe says in Taira Zamra, So what is this? What is this? This is a beautiful Pasik. 
that if there's a malach, if there's one malach, im yesh malach, all of malach melitz echot. There's one malach, one malach that's that's uh, that's that's in the, that's that's uh, that's uh, uh, his defense. One olive, one malach that's coming to defend the person. Mine elef from from thousands. There's a thousand. There's many many other ones. Lagid adam yashra to show his goodness. So what does that mean? Dainu afilu im ein meitzian by im zechus echad mine elef. Even if you only find one schus for somebody, for somebody, or yourself, or myself, you find one schus, one schus out of thousands, out of thousands, one thing. Echad mine elef. Afilu im yesh po a mitzvah v'hashchus atzmai ribay p'soylas. And even if in that one mitzvah that you found, and let us all remember just one thing, just by the side the note. We know that that, that, that Pirkei Yavay says that even a tzaddik, that even a rasha is male mitzvah's kerimai. Okay? That even a rasha is male mitzvah's kerimai. So here we're saying that if there's only one mitzvah, one mitzvah out of thousands, and that mitzvah itself is not such a bright mitzvah. In other words, it was done... It was done with 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 uh, not the, always the right intentions. It was not done the best way it could have been done. Okay, it was not done the right. Well, it has a lot of psilus. It has a lot of dross attached to it. Dross. The ain by kiim eze nekuda toy the echad me elef pa oisay schus batzmai. And even now, within this one one mitzvah that the person found, and there's only one schus. In that one mitzvah of a thousand, even if you have that one schus of a thousand of one mitzvah, you know, as the Rebbe is explaining to us here, how we how how important it is to find the 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 the, the nekuda teiva, the schus in every single person, in every single family member, friend, colleague, a, a, a husband, wife. It doesn't make a difference. Parents. Children, it doesn't make a difference. You have to find the Nikuda Taiva. And you can't say that it, that anyone, you can't say that any Jew doesn't have a lot of Nikuda Taivas. Why? Because we know that even her rushes, Mali Mitzvah, Kimavik Arimite. Okay, but now the Rebbe is saying that if there's only one, he brings the Pasik, if there's only one Malach, there's one Malach of a thousand Malach protecting the person. And within that one malach, there's a lot of dross, there's a lot of garbage stuck in that one. But there's one piece that's good. If in that one malach, this tisha meyas v'tishim v'tisha chalakim, 999 parts of that one malach, are coming to be that are that are a chayv that are coming to bring the person to be guilty. Ve'echad l'schus. There's only one, one of one thousand of one malach. That's the schus. Nitzel gamke. The person is saved. Haynu shegam a mitzvah v'schus shemaitziim ba'atzmai oy bechaveira. This schus that we find in ourselves, that we forgive ourselves. A mitzvah that we did something, that we did something. So let's see, or a friend. And even if you're going to tell me, well, this guy is not such a nice guy. He does all these. It doesn't matter. He has one mitzvah within a thousand. All right, that's a that's a one in a thousand. Okay, v'gam oisay has schus b'atzmai molly psoilus apnias. And even if in that one schus, it's full of a lot of dross and junk. And there's only one one of one thousandth in that one thing that's found. That's how important one mitzvah is. That's how important that one part of one thousand. How important the chayzrin elav yisbarach, and you could bring the person, you could bring yourselves back to our kaddish baruch hu. Vaz nahapeich hakol eschus, and through that everything can be transformed to a eschus. V'zeichel elef oyres, and then the person will have the thousand lights elef oyres. 
Shehem Bechinas Tais V'Shabbos, and that's the aspect of Tais V'Shabbos. What's Tais V'Shabbos? Tais V'Shabbos means we bring Shabbos in a few minutes earlier. We bring Shabbos, we, we don't wait, we don't, we don't say, oh, what's the earliest month for Shabbos to go out? The earliest month is, oh, I want that one, I'll go to that menu. I'll go to that menu with the earliest month. No, Tais V'Shabbos, I add to my Shabbos. I add to my Shabbos. How beautiful that is. How beautiful it is to be heir to heir to that Shabbos. I, I, my, my, I have a, one, of, one, of my, one of my dear rebellion, they should have a Rafur Shalema, Rav David Ben Bashir, Rav, Rabbi Spiegel from Cedarhurst, okay? So he told me, he told me once like this. It says, it says that you have to be Zachar Yom Shabbos and Shomer Yom Shabbos. Okay, so Rabbi Spiegel said there should be a schus for him, for a refuel for him. That, 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 Zohar Yisrael Shabbos means what? Zohar Yisrael Shabbos means when it's Friday. And I remember, and I remember that it's Shabbos. And I remember to bring in the Shabbos. So let's say they say Shabbos is, is, is five o'clock. So I say, you know what? At a quarter to five, I'm bringing in Shabbos. I remember the Shabbos. That's Zohar Yisrael Shabbos. Shomer Yisrael Shabbos is, Shabbos is going to leave. They tell you Shabbos is leaving at 6 o'clock or whatever. I'm just making up a number. It doesn't matter. Okay, 6 o'clock. And you say, you know what? I'm not letting Shabbos out at 6 o'clock. I'm going to keep Shabbos to 6.15. I'm going to keep Shabbos Rabbeinu Tanzman. It may be 6.32. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going to do that. And by, by me doing that, I am Shomer. I'm watching the Shabbos. I'm watching the Shabbos. So that's what it means, Tais for Shabbos, okay? Any questions on this, Hevra? Any questions? No? Okay, please. Your lot of heads questions is an open forum, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, Irish. Shehem Bechines Tais for Shabbos. Kamuva Bakavon is Yismach Moshe. Yismach Moshe. We say every, we say on Shabbos morning, Yismach Moshe B'Matn HaSchelkai. Right, we learned about that. What was Moshe Rabbeinu's what was it, the matna of his chalik? What was his chalik? That Maishu Rabbeinu was able to perceive Shabbos by Parai. That Maishu Rabbeinu was able to perceive Shabbos, and he told Parai that we should take off on Shabbos. Okay, that's the, okay. Now, Bezel ba'atzmai bechinas elef, ze'ira devayikwa shekaru l'maishu acha akamas ha'mishkan. And that was the small letter aleph that was, told over, that was called out to Moshe after the erection of the Mishkan. Ki mevayasham bekavanais sheyadei chet ha'egel nilkichu nilkichu mi Moshe elef oirais through the chet of the Egel Moshe Rabbeinu lost a thousand lights, a thousand levels V'zeh soyt alef ze'ira devayikra v'shabbos chayzer mekablim v'soyt tais v'shabbos and Shabbos can come and bring back to the person can bring back to the person the beautiful light that was lost by Moshe Rabbeinu because of the chayda ego Shabbos the tais v'shabbos has the ability in it in order to bring back that light v'az machzir the Yisrael. Then it brings back, then it brings back to Klal Yisrael, HaKisarim Shalahem, Shehem HaAdayim, Nishinitzal HaMehem, that were taken, in other words, we know, we know that at the Chet of the Chet of Egel, so HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave every Jew, had two crowns, but we know that by the Chet of Egel, we lost the crowns, but the crowns come back to us for Shabbos, again, if we're involved with the Tais for Shabbos. Took the bag, and now we can get it easy. We can get it back by Ayin Yafa also. And through that, every Jew has the right. It gives us the right to bring in Shabbos a little bit earlier on Ere Shabbos. Ayin Shem Vechol Zeal Pia Now Ki Moshe Shu Tzadik. Maishu Rabbeinu was the tzaddik for Emes, al yedei ha-schus she-melamed, she-melamed al Yisrael u-maitzi ba-em nekudas taibas afilo im-heim choytim, mi-yoyit kimbay maisa ha-egel. We know that Maishu Rabbeinu was able to find the schus for every single yid by the maisa ha-egel. 
when Hakadosh Baruch Hu said, "I'm going to destroy Klal Yisrael and I'm going to bring Klal Yisrael back. I'm going to make Klal Yisrael with you, Maishu Rabbeinu." And Maishu Rabbeinu used the he used his tactic, and Maishu Rabbeinu found the good skite in every single Jew. He found the Nikuda Taiva in every single Jew. That's what Maishu Rabbeinu was, gonna, was, was able to do. The Maishu Gochman son Shekain Lavoi the Zara Gili Arayis Shvichas Damim. We know, we know by the Maisa of the 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 the, the Egel. The Egel was the worst Avera. Why? Because it had included in it the three big Averas. What are the three big Averas? Avodizara, idol worship, Gili Arayas, uh, 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 you know, having a, uh, uh, um, uh, well, Gili Arayas is having the relations that you're not allowed to have. Ushvikas Dhamim. Ushvikas Dhamim is murder. Kamay Shamra Vesenazal. That was all included in the Cheda Egel. Even still, Maish Rabbeinu was Maish Nefesh. Where he told HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Imno Amacheni Misifrecha. Right? And Maish Rabbeinu said, if you're not going to forgive the Jewish people for this terrible thing, not you'll be so nice and you'll forgive the Jewish people because they didn't do this or that. No. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Maish Rabbeinu said to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, no, you have to forgive the Jewish people for even this. For even this that they did. That that the Chay the Eagle was so terrible, he was Kailal Avoy the Zara Gili Arias and Shrikas Dhamma. Ava Pikenu Maisa Nafshalem, Acha Maiti Bem Zakhus or Mahziram La Shem is Bar, he brought us back to Hashem by Yadeza and Nivna Mishkan, and through those good points, like we said, the Max is a shekel that was brought by each one, he was able to build the Mishkan and all the other Truman that they gave, all the other uh, uh, the, the, the donations that they gave. Vaz kare me amishka me bechinas alav zeira de vayikra, and then Hakadosh Baruch Hu, after the mishka was finally erected and was ready to go, Meisher Hakadosh Baruch Hu calls to Meisher Beinu with the alav zeira, with a little alav. Chaytim mioid chas v'shalom alpha pichain yira lemsoi b'hem schos afilo echad mine alav, and after that Meisher we we learn the idea that even if there's a thousand. Angels that are going against the person, but there's one that's good. That is one that's good. Shazer bechinas alav zeira de vayikra. That's the little olive that you find in vayikra. In other words, there's so many problems. There's a thousand problems, but there's one little olive. That little olive is the good olive, and that can save and protect the Jewish people. L'ramez loy sheyelech b'derech zeh to go in this way. Afilu ki shisrol chayte miyoyit chas v'shalom. Even if Kla Yisrael is chayte, even if Kla Yisrael is making is is sitting chas v'shalom. Apo piche nira limsei behem zechus afilu echad mina yalef. Even if they're sinning, find a zechus in Kla Yisrael. And Hakadosh Baruch Hu Mamish find the zechus in Kla Yisrael. Look how all the Jews together are getting together today. To help all the Yidden that that are that are that are stuck in the Ukraine, all these Jews, thou, hundreds of thousands of Jews, all Jews around the world are donating money to help Hatzolus Nefashis Mamish. So this is Mamish, something beautiful that we're doing. Kalal Yisrael is doing, and because of this thing that we're doing to help all of these Yidden that we're selfless, we don't know these Yidden, we don't know who they are, but it doesn't matter. We're one people. We're one nefesh. We're one. We're one soul. We are all one soul. Whether we know the people, we don't know the people. It doesn't make a difference. We're all. We're all. We're doing what we can. Every yid is doing what they can. Even if we're sitting, Hakadosh Baruch Hu should find in us this schus, even one of a thousand. So Hakadosh Baruch Hu can say that we're making our mistakes, and okay, Jews, we're making mistakes, but don't forget that what we learned. And I'll, I'll tell you one more time. I'll tell you this one more time. We learned this from the from the from the um, uh, from the Bas Ayin, where we say in the Yud Gimel Midas Arachanim, and the Yud Gimel Midas Arachanim is connected to the Chayda Ego because that's when Hakadosh Baruch Hu was Megala the Yud Gimel Midas Arachanim. It says Hakadosh Baruch Hu is Noi Sayavon. Hakadosh Baruch Hu is Noi Sayavon. What does it mean Noi Sayavon? He carries our load. He carries our sins. He carries them. Why does Hakadosh Baruch Hu carry them? Because the Hakadosh Baruch Hu says. This is what's said by the by the holy uh, Basai that that what Hakadosh Baruch Hu chooses to have the hest upon him in the world. Hashem chooses to hide himself in the world. It's Hakadosh Baruch Hu's own choice 
that he hides himself in the world. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, if I would be Megala myself to my children in this world, if I would do that, they would not be making the sins. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so to say, takes responsibility for our sins. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I'm hiding myself. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu would reveal himself in the world, HaKadosh Baruch Hu would show his, he would show him, himself in the world and show himself to the whole world. So which Jew would sin? Which Jew would sin? So that's what we're learning over here. I think, does anyone have any questions on this or add anything on this or or want to have any comments? Do, do we, is one of the reasons that the women bench left 18 minutes before sunset, before sunset is in order to add to Shabbos? Yes, yes. Right, yes, yes, and you know, and you know, Ernie, whenever someone needs a schus for something, right? When right. someone needs a refuah, they need a hatzalah, they need a yeshua. So they always say, well, light candles a few more minutes, right? A little earlier, right? Mm-hmm. right. You, 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 we've all heard that, right? Light a few more right. minutes early. Why? Because if you light a few more minutes early, look what you tap into. Look what you're tapping into. You're tapping into this, so this, this goodness of Shabbos. You're tapping into the thousand lights. You're tapping into such good sky. It's unbelievable. It was a good point you brought, Ernie. Thank you. Anyone else want to say anything? Okay. Shkoyach.